president from detention. At that time, I was being tried for coup, which I made mention of. I was arrested by General Abdesalani Abubakar on the ground that I was planning coup against him. Now, General Sabo, Colonel Frank, and Colonel Olu were released. But the order said I should be kept behind, never to be released. So I whispered to General Sabo, my lord, to say that if it is true, the president will now be President Obasanjo, then President Obasanjo should be privy to something that I call very dangerous to the nation. I now told General Sabo to hand over a certain cassette video for the president to see so that he can take caution, my lord, and know the power play that has been in existence in the hierarchy of the previous two governments. That is to say, in General Abacha's government and that of General Abdi Salam. That's correct. And I did that, my lord, to reaffirm my professionalism, which I talked about, that the loyalty of any officer goes to the commander-in-chief of the day. And I took that risk and I did it, my lord. And I hope that must have in any way from the contents we shall see or hear done something to the stability of democracy. Please, uh, you can tell them because he sent it. Yes, have you got the document? We have. Yeah, my lord. He sent it. He can tell them what he sent. It's not the document. It's, there are two cases, my lord. I see. Uh, why did you take the decision to send these cases to the Rawasanjo? My lord. Is that a duplicate there? If he sent it to General Abbasanjo, you will be with him. <laughs> no, we will lay proper foundation for it. No, no, no. no. He sent a tape to General Abbasanjo. Yes, we lord. Is he sending it back? We lord, we will lay proper foundation for that one. We want to know the reason for sending it back. <laughs> We want the commission to be a bit patient with us. A bit patient with us, Milan. Yes. Okay. The cassettes you sent to General Obasanjo through General Sabo, did you make copies before sending them to him? I told General Sabo to do so. That's correct. And are you aware that General Sabo has done so and he has forwarded them to your lawyer? I am aware. And you are aware that I took this to you? to identify in the prison. Correct. We seek to tender any evidence, Lord. Not through you, but through Sabo. Yes. Through Sabo, will tender it. <laughs> my, Lord, my Lord, the contents are very clear. This is a fact-finding commission. We do not want it. We know. know. We know. Is Sabo not coming? When we don't know whether the commission is coming. You tell me that I photocopied or I duplicated a particular thing. No. Well, this is the... We are greatly assisted. Now, you will remember that you said you were arrested for a coup. Yes, my lord, the Brigadier Sabo had earlier testified before the commission in respect of this matter. I have put him. Brigadier Sabo, he has already given evidence before the commission. Did he identify this tape? He did not. Well, then, but uh, my what we are trying to urge that since he was on this mission, if he can be taken for identification, hmm? if it's for identification, he can't use it. Well, if he last the that for identification, we are, he said he can tell that for identification. And the woman who produced it tenders it. May we at this stage make request for the call of Abu Milad? May we at this stage make an oral application that Brigadier and Asabo will be called in this commission. Is he here today? He is not. He is not. Yes, my lord. What I wanted to lay the foundation is that the, the witness himself did this cassette by himself. He wanted the, 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 the video camera that snapped the proceedings of the FRC that culminated in this. And all the parties there are no parties. It's not a difficult thing. We saw this as a fact finding commission, and that was why we said that alone should have assisted the commission to see. 
Certainly, they will not say you not in this cassette. And I'm sure the commission members will not find difficulty identifying there or identifying Bama who is here in the Jarabama. We are we just trying to assist the commission. These are fact finding matters, and we thought that we do not want to go to technicalities. They are facts. He met them. He is here. They were just produced, and I do remember that everything produced using the same mechanical process, my lord, is as good as original. The only unfortunate thing is that the public will be deprived of the benefit of seeing this. That's the only unfortunate thing. <laughs> yes, my lord. The, although it appears that in response to the earnings of the public, they say, let there be videotape and the TV for the purpose of playing this cassette. And, and the subsequent day, Yes, my lord. <laughs> and we make that request to that again, my lord. Shall we explain for you? You remember that you had a reason for sending this video cassettes to Obasanjo, and you said you did that in furtherance of your professional position as a loyal person to the commander in chief. Yes, sir. What informed you sending the contents of that message to Obasanjo? Yes, sir. My lord, I just want two minutes to give the background. Just two minutes. 1995 coup. Thank you, my lord. 1995 coup started it all, my lord. There was a game unknown to Nigerians. In 1995, I was called to hear a message that was called emergency by the GOC 1 division, then Brigadier General Abdullah Ahmed. The late head of state said I should go. We met in Kano. I met him along with one Colonel Shuaibu, the former administrator of Niger State. Colonel Shuaibu told me that he was confronted to be recruited for a coup in the making by one Colonel Bello Fadile. And that he was making more contacts within that area, that is, within Kaduna, Jaji, and Zaria, to recruit more. I came back and told the late head of state. Now, from there, I know a lot of machineries normally were set up. But at the end of the day, my lord, there was an SIP announced to the nation that there was a coup. While SIP was on, my lord, there was one major problem. And I hope that this commission will also now request General Savo and the former Chief of Defense Intelligence, Air Vice Marshal Edi Musa, to produce or to come and testify that within that SIP, some documents original were missing. There was a problem, my lord. And I hope when they come, they will also throw more light. One, Colonel Bello Fadle affirmed that he told the wife of the then CDS, that is now General Abu Bakr, retired. So in that case, or in the coup of 1995, my lord, there should have been a case of concealment against the then CDS, who was the convening authority. Have you realized there was a problem, my lord, on my own? I now felt that there was the need because of the divided house. There was the need for the PRC that was there to be discussed to now be kept for posterity. Whatever informed me, I thank God Almighty. And I found some instruments and I did it, my Lord. It is in this PRC meeting that the same convening of office authority who took away documents, whose case of concealment in that same who was being overlooked, that was asking in these steps before you, my Lord, that General Basanjo, General Adu, and all of them should be shot. Who is that the, the convening authority? General Basanjo, Yes, it should be. It's in the cassette, my Lord. So while we were in detention, 
they told me that General Abdesalami Abu Bakr is now handing over power to the same President uh, General Basanjo, whom he said should be shot. That's why I said, for him to be saved, he must see these films and be careful, because it's power play. One of my problems has to do with this cassette today, my lord. And if I can deduct, one of my problems, including the contents of the petition today, has to do with this. Okay. At this stage, 